epic obstacle course for the DJI Avata 2. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm gonna start out in the normal mode and then progress into the sports mode. And it's just crazy what you can, what you can do. You can go so low to the ground as well, I love that. What's going on guys? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the creative director here on danstube.tv, which is Australia's number one ranked drone YouTube channel. Today I'm putting the DJI Avata 2 through its paces with an obstacle course. Now this is normally where I do my obstacle avoidance tests with other drones, but with the Avata 2, I'm just gonna see how I can go darting between trees. I'm gonna put it in the normal mode and then progress into the sports mode and see how I can go with this obstacle course. If you are interested in the DJI Avata 2, then I will have some epic deals linked below. If you're based in Australia, you can contact the D1 store, sales at d1store.com.au. Mention Dan's Tube and they'll be able to help you out with the best deal possible over there. If you're looking for other accessories and items, you can use the code Dan's Tube on their website as well. And if you're looking for some international deals, maybe you're not based in Australia, I will have those linked below as well. All right, so let's see. Let's see how we go just in the normal mode. I'm just gonna see how I go navigating around these trees. Just in the normal mode, it should be relatively easy to achieve this, I would imagine. Let's hope anyway. Oh yeah, look how epic this is. Oof. We've got a nice little open area here. It's when I go into the sports mode that it might be a little bit more challenging. But you can see I can pretty confidently dart between all of these trees, relatively low altitude. Honestly, I just have so much confidence with this drone and the uh, RC Motion Controller 3, like, man, it just is so responsive and easy to get used to. And you can see just a little bit of a quick circuit there. I've done a few close calls, but I feel pretty confident as you can see because I know how small the drone is, I know that I can get nice and close. I know I've got the propeller guards on the drone, so I'm not too concerned about the actual trees being a problem here. So you can see pretty comfortably darting around everything and you can do little like spins around trees and I feel like I'm holding it together relatively well so far. I'm just gonna go a little bit further down and then I'm gonna come back to where I took off and we'll just see how I go with these little kind of spinning, darting maneuvers, keeping it really low to the ground, seeing what I can do here. And it's just crazy what you can, what you can do. You can go so low to the ground as well. I love that. Dart around the trees and I hit a tree. Ah. <laughs> oh no. All right, so it did hit a tree there. I feel like that was just me being a little too confident. Doesn't seem to have any issues though, everything seems fine on it because it's so well protected right there's prop guards uh, covering the actual motors and propellers i can see a little bit of a contact point there on the frame itself which is clearly where it hit right there the camera's fine and uh, it looks like it's ready to go again all right we're going to do another little circuit now we're recording again so let's just go around and see if i can redeem myself here Oh, there's a bit of a hill there. It's just crazy, it really is. So let's go over this one, come down, spin around. And we're gonna go between here. Yeah, it's crazy how confident you can be with this drone. And just go between these tiny little gaps, dart around all sorts of gaps. It's amazing what you can do, it really is. And if you've never flown FPV before, this is a great starting point, right? Because you can just see how quickly I can pick it up. When I hit that tree before, that was more so just maybe a lapse of concentration because I'm obviously trying to talk as well here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck it into sports mode just for my final test here, just to see how it goes. Uh, and I'm going to have to be a bit more mindful now. So now we're in sports mode and I'm going to slowly pick up the pace in sports mode. got a different sound in sports mode. Damn. <laughs> the speed you can navigate around is insane. Just gonna try to dart between these trees here. 
see what we can do. Let's do a little like bank around between this little gap. Damn. Amazing what you can do with this thing. Ooh, there we go. That was a very lucky stop there. Very lucky stop indeed. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly test out the emergency brake while I'm out here anyway, might as well. So I'm just gonna floor it towards me down here and I'm just gonna chuck on the emergency brake. Damn, that thing is crazy when it breaks. You can see how responsive the emergency brake is and uh, you can see how amazing the FPV footage looks. Like how uh, easy it is to get those cool banking shots, those nice close calls, which is what we love with FPV like that. Just going over the top of something and then darting down, spinning around, like it's so easy to replicate it. And for someone who has very limited, if if really any FPV experience, <laughs> I can pick this up very quickly and I feel confident to just charge through here, you know, and to get all these cool shots that I would not get with other drones. So that's where the Avada 2 really stands out here. You can just confidently dart between these trees. All right, one more loop around here. Just go around here and just pick up the pace. Over that. Ooh. Ooh. Love this, I love this thing so much. Cool, all right, so let's just bring it back. So this is the Avada 2. This is what it can do. I'm gonna try to hand catch it actually. So you press and hold the orange button. Theoretically, it should just land on my hand. There we go. That's simple. So you can see how amazing the Avada 2 is. I was able to dart between trees confidently, bank around all sorts of things. There was that one moment obviously where I hit the tree there. I feel like that's because I'm trying to focus on obviously talking and flying. And it was just a quick little lapse of judgment and bump the tree. But you know, there's a tiny little kind of dent here that you can see. Oh, it's actually quite clear when you look at it like that. So that's the impact point where it actually hit the prop guard basically, but no other damage. The fact that it was able to take that hit and then I was able to launch straight away is quite impressive and I really did want to push it to its limits here. I feel like I was able to get some speed up and dart around and so yeah that's my test right there. Hopefully that gives you guys some insights into what you're getting yourself into if you're getting the DJI Avada 2 and uh, let me know if you've got any comments below. I appreciate all the support everyone. I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.